Hey guys, today we are exploring Pompeii. You could spend six hours here easy. You could spend all day here and still not see everything, for sure. And it is a little confusing to get here, so we'll start back in Naples. First things first, we're at Garibaldi Station. Follow the signs for the Cerco Vesuviana line. And you're gonna buy some tickets here. We're going to Pompeii Scavi. There are different Pompeii stations. You're going to Pompeii Scavi. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Ciao, baby. <laughs> That's it. People love babies here in Naples. <laughs> Take the train to Sorrento. It's via Pompeii. So this is the train to Poggio Marino via Scafati. So this does go to Pompeii, but it goes to Pompeii City, not the archaeological site. This is the train that you want. The train will be fast. <laughs> You're gonna walk out of the train going in the direction it was going. You'll find the entrance right here. Pro tip, get in that front car and then go right to the line because it grows fast because the entire train has to buy a ticket. The audio guide ticket line does not get very long so you can get that afterwards. Also, you can pay with a credit card. So, that's cool. And Sleeping Baby, win. They've got a luggage storage if you got big bags. Grazie. There's water throughout the place. So you would hang out and chill on the side here. And that was a waterfall cascading down these steps here. So we're at the far side of Pompeii. We walked all the way through the entire town. It is huge. And right now we're at the amphitheater. This is amazingly well preserved. I seriously can't believe it. Okay, so quick history of Pompeii. The outer walls were built in the 6th century BC. It was huge by the turn of the millennia. In 62 AD, there was a giant earthquake, decimated the city, and they immediately started rebuilding. But 17 years later, in 79 AD, Vesuvius erupted. The whole place was still under construction, and that's what we see today. It was discovered in the 16th century, and now they're still excavating parts of it. So the archaeologists split the area up into neighborhoods called the regios and blocks called insulas. So this one is regio 1, insula 14, and then over here that's regio 2, insula 9, and then insula 8. So that way you can find out where you are on the map. So there's signs in there, so this should be open, at least sometimes. But we don't know why most of the houses and areas are locked up. Kai is checking all of the gates, making sure they're really locked. That one's locked. Sorry, I can't get in here. How'd you get in there? No idea, man. Just walk around. Thanks. Am I not supposed to be in here? <laughs> so, we found this in a few places where the door is locked and you think you can't get in there, but then a different door is open. So, keep trying them. A lot of them legit are locked completely, but this one worked. This is seriously incredible. The entire floor is all these mosaic little tiles. Oh, switching it up. The black tile with the little white accents. This place is so big. This is one house? Yeah, so this is one house. Somebody combined two 30 room houses to create one 60 room house. Because 30 rooms in a house is not enough? And then tiled all the floors beautifully. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. This place is incredible. So the skylight up there was open and this would catch rain more below it. Yeah, sorry Kai, we can't go in. Casa del Menandro. 
There's an upstairs. baby point. You can change this guy's diaper. What do you think, Kai? Pretty great, huh? The bathrooms are up on top of a hill and they actually give you a pretty good view of the city around. You can kind of get a feel for just how ginormous this place was. The ruins are just so expansive. It's, it's something else. You can see the skylight coming down into this basin. This is actually where they did laundry. This place had an upstairs with a terrace too. To me, the walls are the coolest things. That's how these paintings survived. The Casa de Paquias Proculus has a cool mosaic floor. basically like a fast food joint with a lot of different options. <laughs> so these little things were all filled with hot foods, except one of them, which they found money in. It was customary to go eat your lunch away from the home, so you would get your food here, pay for it, and then sometimes you could eat it out back. All the food stalls have these really pretty decorative marble counters. There's another one, just a couple doors down. Another one. It's a tavern. So this little strip here must have been the place to hang out. You got another street food place, there's a tavern next door, a couple more down the way. That's a food stall, that's a food stall. That one is just down where the people are. You see an unlocked door, go for it. Well, this would have been in the second floor. <laughs> Hi, can I get a stracciatella gelato? Cup or cup? Uh, cup, please. <laughs> This is the public quad, just a hangout for the show. You got the Grand Theater there and the Piccolo Theater right over there. The Teatro Piccolo was built in 80 BC. Can you believe that? It's over 2,000 years old. There's Teatro Piccolo, and then the square, and we are inside Teatro Grande. Teatro Grande in the background. This is the Foro Triangolare. This is the Tempio de Iside. It's built in the second century BC and it was unearthed in the 1700s, almost intact like this. This is one of the big reasons that Pompeii is famous. So this is pre-restoration. Still looks pretty amazing. It's all second and third century BC. I just can't believe this stuff is still standing. Some of these structures are really tall. This is the Casa de Tritolemo. Just imagine the rooms around the central courtyard here. Nice little garden, nice area to hang out. This is amazing. It's like, they were just like us. <laughs> this is the Santuario di Apollo. First half of the 6th century BC. What? That's Apollo. 
his sister Diana was on the other side. In case you're wondering, this place is not stroller friendly. We're in the main forum here. This place would have been so cool to see when it was all up and running. So next to the forum is this shelter with all this pottery and the cast of some of the people that were found here. Yeah, that's just so sad. Says that these are cats. The people aren't in there? Yeah. Oh, that's a little bit better. So this road through the middle here was actually sewage. And Issa's walking across the sewage. So she's not standing in it like me. Because if I were back here in Pompeii time, this would be really gross. Fontana Piccola. It's a small fountain house. We have not gone down that road, or that road, or that road. It goes forever. We have been here for over six hours and there's still a couple neighborhoods that we haven't visited yet. We, in all fairness, have been walking very slow. <laughs> but you could still spend six hours here easy. Plus there's a lot of places we couldn't even get into because it was locked. So if you actually had access to oh, those places, cool. you'd see a lot. Let's go there. Okay. the structures here absolutely incredible these entryways are all so pretty I seriously I can't film them all but trust me they're everywhere to tell you how like frequent you see these this isn't even a named house it's just whatever some random person's house Seven hours in. This is our first time in this place. I believe we still haven't seen this whole thing yet. These are thermal baths. Whoa. That's the ceiling. This place is crazy. Lupinare. So this is a brothel. Crazy how left intact this was. <laughs> the frescoes are amazing. Oh, this is naughty. We've wrapped around back to the forum. We got a couple more places to see, and I think that's everything. Cool. Yeah, we're kind of losing steam. That's it for our trip to Pompeii. This yeah. place is amazing and it's huge. It is huge. <laughs> like it just kept going and going and going. Partway through I stopped looking at the map because I was overwhelmed by looking at the map and trying to get everywhere. Yeah. Um, just hit the big things. Yeah. Like look at the map, decide on which ones you're gonna get to because I mean we were here for seven and a half hours, almost seven eight hours. Seven and a half hours. Again, a little slow at times. Yeah. Um, but I do think you could spend that. Plus we didn't get to the, what is this, the antiquarium. Bring food. Stuff as much food as you can into that backpack if you're gonna stay here for that long. They do have food on site, but it's just easier to bring it with you. If you do only have a few hours to spend here, I would recommend if your weather is good, come in the evening, because from about 3.30 or 4, uh, crowds died down Places immensely mm -hmm. from this morning. It's really nice. If you want good pictures yeah. too, it's great. Wear good shoes, the place is slippery and uneven the entire city is. Definitely come here. It's cool. It's definitely worth coming to. It is bucket list for a reason. It's 
just such an expanse of ruins. But it's really cool to see and it's fun to do, I think, to know like what the city was like. Like this is the city mm -hmm. that they were walking around in. Yeah, and just to imagine life here with the street food and the yeah. sports complexes, the theater. They're just like us guys. Yeah. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.